okay in this lesson we are going to do the wheel so let's first hide these objects from the scene select all those objects and go to display height height selection so let's first uh, see some reference images i have collected so i like this reference images uh, although i have some more reference images you can see you can do whatever you like uh, i'm going to do this one so let's do the wheel uh, rubber part first you can see it's very flat here and it's turning turning inside there and then the rim kind of thing and the knot bolt there so let's first do the rubber part so to do that you can see it's straightforward it's a pipe you can use polygon pipe it's very you know identical so let's take this and let's try to bring that proportion there just first just rotate it to 90 degree there so you can see how handy this is to like put you know some clean value there so let's uh, it almost looks like we have got the perfect width just uh, maybe just a little bit we can increase the height there just a bit and see always whatever we do just try to you know get the proper proportion first then uh, this will be the thickness there you can see the thickness here is very less and let's let me just decrease that thickness there score thickness and you can just uh, select the name and control control and drag middle drag middle mouse so now let's let's put some bevel there just select these two edges and go to edit mesh choose bevel so that we don't have a surface there and the bevel fraction is very i think it's too much for right now just hold control and drag here i can choose how uh, you know how the curve should be there just check this curve okay just put that i kind of like this one so you can press 3 to see what's it doing then let's do the rim part so we can again take a polygon pipe or the best way is to just duplicate this area from there go to edit mesh and duplicate or you can also actually extrude that part but i'm going to duplicate it and just go to object mode select both control drag the outside we need the thickness there just extrude this object and let's get the thickness there you can see the thickness of this area and we can adjust its there then again extrude press g to repeat it and then move again this time i'll scale as well because you can see that now it's going inside and there is again plane changing there so again extrude for the last time i believe and this would be this part i think it's going in and then it's going back then it's coming back again actually just just to move i'm in the local mode right now so that whatever i'm doing it this side it's going to be this side as well just just make sure to scale so that we get that effect here okay then again extrude and scale it to get that flat plane there this plane now we are ready to put the bolt there before uh, putting the bolt just uh, let's add some you know supporting edge loop so that when we smooth these edges will be will hold the shape of the hard edge there if i three right now like you can see although it looks nice but uh, like this this edge should be a little bit tighter let me see the reference image a little bit actually you can just select this edge loop and scale a bit because that shape is the wheel is going like inside a bit okay like this and let's just isolate this or just select or press alt edge to hide on selected objects there and let's select this face and select the whole loop by double clicking the negative face then extrude this again and just this time just push inside there this kind of thing now i can delete this area or i can extrude again and just move a bit there inside so that we get a loop in both side there now let's press three you see now it looks cool and let's see let's press ctrl shift edge to unhide or go to display so last hidden now let me see the reference image uh, this edge should be a little hardened and that's inside it would be 
okay let's take the insert as loop tool and let's add here one edge loop and one edge loop here i want to add two edge loops here so what will i do is just go to mesh tools insert as loop tool option box and choose insert with multiple edge loops there two just click to get those two bring the scale tool and scale them outside like away from each other so that they end of getting here on each side as well so then let's put some edge loop in this side as well just just change this to or you can reset it to get the default option there oh uh, yeah maybe we forgot to add here one just okay so now we can press 3 to see the smooth now it's cool and yeah, it looks nice just uh, i want to see this area just i feel it's a bit outside though just to scale the whole piece in uh, this axis x axis so that they don't come so out we need a little thickness there just like this okay so we don't have to put any uh, details uh, to it because we can do those inside zebras or you can see it's very you know clean neat uh, there's no tire threads or something but if you want to do those you can do those uh, inside zebras easily or you can do those uh, in maya as well by putting some you know polygons small small polygons and duplicating them all around and let's do the not bold there so you can see the bold has a round shape here but here it's like angular and again it's changing to a round shape so there are three safe let's do that it could be a little, little trickier just to do inside maya but let's see what you can do there let's just i believe just hide those let's take a polygon again cylinder this time and rotate it to 90 degree in in this axis which is z in this case just press 90 degree and what i want to do is just let's make it six so subdivision axis this is the you can see this is the angular part here and i'm planning to like create it a angular cylinder and i'm planning to take a again round cylinder and i'll try to breeze them here so that uh, the object should like transform to from this shape to this shape in between that okay so oh, so it's six right now so we have six sided power cylinder here so let's take a again another cylinder but this time we'll try to make it you know round shape just again 90 degree and this time let's scale this one it's a you know thinner and obviously wider than that i'm doing this part right now so let's make it everything uh, put it back so now the challenge is to how we can actually breeze or merge them together so the thing is actually let's put here let's first make it uh, actually let's smooth it go to edit mess and just add divisions because if you actually smooth this object right now it will turn like this it will obviously add some divisions but although the shape has been changed but uh, actually we don't want that in this case so what i do is ju just go to here and choose add divisions it does actually you can see what it does it only add divisions and doesn't change the shape of the object so in this case i want that so let's see now just delete these faces of this cylinder back end faces you can see these faces just select and delete those and let's count those edges at the border so to count i'm not going to do it manually just go to display and head of display here and turn in poly count so that uh, just double click the border edge so that we can just follow this edges here we can check the last option here which is 12 right now this is the selected edges category this is for the whole visible objects and this is for the selected object and this is for the selected edges so we have 12 edges so what i do in with this cylinder so that i can freeze them is keeping the same value here so let's put 12 as well 
here with the surface on axis just put 12 now we can see visually it's matching it's already matching and let's try uh, actually the problem is if we do this way the problem is actually if we smooth if we smooth this object after breezing it will again turn like rounded so what i do is actually we need to put some more edges there just you can select this or you can just or insert our edge loops there just to keep a hole with the lines there just put make sure make sure you add a like two edges to every angular edge keep the hard edge when we smooth now you can see now it's beautifully hard edge huh? now let's see how much edges it has so like it's 24 so let's just put 24 here instead of 12 24 now what i'm going to do is just breeze them so before breezes let's delete these faces here so in order to select these faces just go to um, just select this vertex and press ctrl f11 or you can just go to select and the convert options there uh, where is the convert selection option here yeah, two faces and just delete and now you can see we can just combine them and freeze them because they all they both have the same number of polygons at the border just just carefully select the border edge just double click and here double click go to edit mesh and freeze if you want to put uh, some divisions here as well you can do that or uh, you can see it looks like a little bit twisted so in order to fix that we need to change this breeze offset here you can see the twist there so keep doing it until you feel that this this is what you want you can see it's more straightforward now what i do is just let's put some ref, uh, like supporting edge loops you can also put supporting edge loops by using multi cut tool uh, if you hold control and just hover over an edge you can see this and just click to add an edge loop multi cut is a very versatile tool you can do many things like you can just click and add edge loops manual edge loops there and you can backspace just keep this back and let's use this edge loop as well just move so uh, this is my bolt here and just put an edge loop here as well just to keep that shape there just okay so uh, this is a complex part of a mess we can oh, you just learn how to like create this kind of complex shape very easily by like combining two different shapes by breezing them so in the next lesson we're going to do uh, the connector wheel connector part uh, in that lesson so see you there